With me in the studio, Nirmala Sitaraman, spokesperson of the BJP, president of the UK, Akali Dal at the Delhi State, Majinder Singh Sirsa. Thank you very much, Mr. Sirsa, Nirmala Sitaraman. Former CBI Director D.R. Kartikeyan, Aryaman Sundaram, top lawyer of the Supreme Court. Abhid Rasul Khan of the Congress Party joins us from Hyderabad and Kumar Ketkar, Chief Editor of Daily Divya Marathi of the Bhaskar Group joins us from Mumbai. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, New York, yes. Now, the question is actually at the Congress Party at the start. I mean, every time now you talk about Modi or Maya Ben Kodnani or 2002, Abhid Rasul Khan, people will ask you first answer about Jagdish Taitla and Sajan Kumar. And why the CBI closed the case? Answer 1984 before you raised 2002. Anab, the case pertaining to Jagdish Titler. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yeah. The case pertaining to Jagdish Titler was uh, is a totally different and issue. Please continue. And in this particular, yeah. No, no, I'm, let me start it. It's a matter where the Congress party has taken a very straight stand. When he was indicted by Nanavati Commission, we asked him to resign and he resigned. And in 2009, because of the cloud of uh, investigation on him, his ticket was denied. And now we welcome the uh, order of the court and the, we also uh, categorically state that the investigation into it will be redone again on the lines of the orders of the Honorable Court. And if at all he is found guilty, the law will definitely punish him and we will stand by the law and there is no question of protecting him. On the other hand, when it's you a, compare it with Mr. Modi, it that's is That's it a is kind a of photocopy argument, Abhid Rasul Khan. The question is not no, no, now no, about take law taking it its own cause. The question is till now... Where, where the BJP till now party you, promotes him no, as the Till now you treated Sajjan Kumar with kid gloves. You gave Jagdish no, Taitla a ticket. Not even gloves. Not even gloves. He are, heads a unit in Orissa. We did not give him the ticket. 2000... 2009, we did not give him the ticket. We did not even let him contest on our ticket. That is the way we treat. We treat all crimes against minorities with the same seriousness. There is no question of kid gloves or any gloves with them. The point here is, till they are proved guilty, even if there is a shadow of doubt, we don't try to touch them with a stake. But in the comparison, what you are trying to make with Modi is absolutely different. There he has been indicted. The cases have been shifted out of Gujarat because he has... Uh, uh, made them prosecutors not fight the cases and then you, he is projected as a candidate where he is being pro projected as a prime uh, minister and his lieutenant no. Amit Shah. Lieutenant no. Amit Shah is made a general no. secretary of the well, party. I'll get, so a, what response. Comparison I'll get a response, Mr. Mi no, no, Mr. Mr. I'll get a response, Mr. Abhid Rasul Khan. But since you have made a factual mistake right at the very start, may I please correct you before you move on? Can I correct you why you are factually wrong? Sure, sure, sure. If I have made a mistake, I stand corrected. You are wrong. No problem on that. Because tickets were given to Sajjan Where? Kumar. Just little and ticket, one minute, no. sir. One Jagdish, minute, sir. Jagdish Taitler was not given, were given to Sajjan Kumar. Am I right, Mr. Sirsa? Tickets were given to Sajjan Kumar and Jagdish, 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 Jagdish Taitler. Okay, I stand, I stand. As far as Sajjan Kumar is based on Jagdish Taitler, it was not given. And that was the time when we were agitating on the roads. No, I am telling you, 2009, Taitler was not given a ticket. Tickets were given and withdrawn. It's a fact. So what, what is the reason yeah, for giving a ticket in the field that they, when they have de designed a ticket from the given and withdrawn, and withdrawn is an internal the matter, but finally he was not a candidate of the Congress party. He was not at all a candidate of the Congress party in 2009. What are you I saying? think he is not updated. No, one sec, one sec. We are getting a counter. I am telling you once again that in April 2009, and the and the one thing that I do have on these on these issues, I have I have a very uh, good memory. Janardhan Divedi came out and he said yes. that we gave tickets but we they opted out give because of Congress is very much sensitive because of the feelings of the people we changed our position. You gave tickets. You gave tickets to people who had no, a taint we, of riots we, against we, them. Accept it, Mr. Uh, Abhid Rasul Khan. Don't change the no, facts no, on no, top of news tonight. We have I now not take a made them the candidates of the Congress Nirmala party. Whether their, is whether it fair their to say now, because just not, because you have a taint of 1984, you cannot question us in 2002. Definitely we did not make them the party candidates. Abhid Rasul Khan, hear the BJP response, sir. First of all, the spokesperson of the Congress is wrong and very loose with his facts. He uh, gave us uh, an impression that tickets were not given for these people. You have rightly pointed out that it was indeed given and then withdrawn. No, no, and in the course of saying that, Nirmala he Ji. also very loosely said, oh, he's been indicted referring to the Chief Minister of Gujarat. I'm sorry. There's not been even one charge sheet till date and there is a clearance actually by the SIT of the Supreme Court monitored uh, report. So let him please realize that we are talking on facts 
and whether it is Punjab or Gujarat, we have sir. to talk on facts. It is very clear, till the Nanavati Commission was appointed, every such commission which was appointed, whether it's Marwa, it was Ranganath Mishra or uh, a Banerjee Commission, every commission only uh, brought in a clean chit for the accused, who were all very close to the first family and who were inspired by the line given by late uh, Chief Minister, uh, uh, Prime Minister, who said when a big tree falls, earth ah. will shake. All this inspired them to go on a rampage, to burn alive sick uh, men and women and children. Even today, you have in certain Gurudwaras names of people who others have witnessed being burnt alive. Every commission report, Malaji, nearly yeah. eight no, commissions so are you have going gone. To, are, you going to, are you going to make this an issue now every time you are asked about 2002 that you will raise 1984? It is for the Congress party to decide if they want to talk on communal rights. Those were riots, communal rights. But this was a sponsored massacre, one-sided massacre. If you are talking of communal rights, Malaji, it's a different we are case. Not, we, we are, are willing not to go for a debate on that. Any, but this one is a one-sided, Congress-sponsored massacre. We don't support any riots, we don't support any action against minorities by the majority today, community. Justice but you are trying to show that Gujarat, what they want to do. nothing has happened, which is absolutely wrong. Gujarat riots are known throughout the world of what has, the BJP has done there, what Modi has done. Whether he has been uh, brought to book uh, or not is a different today, issue, but the world knows about it. Jagdish Teitler, after 28 years, who reopened the case. You've been trying to use the CBI to cover up. We welcome Every it. We welcome reopening the case. We are we very welcome clear, reopening the case. We are ready to face the Sajjan inquiry. Kumar, we are not supporting uh, uh, him. Dharam we are Dark not supporting Shastri, him at all. Sajjan, uh, Jagdish Titler, HKL Bhagat, Every top leader of Delhi Congress. Sir, the question is this. One minute. Let's, let's go to the fourth panelist. Fourth panelist today. The question is this. Question is this. Both Sajjan Kumar and Jagdish Titler Kumar Ketkar were given tickets in 2009 for the Lok Sabha elections despite their pending cases. Only after the shoe throwing incident and the outcry from the Sikh community were the tickets withdrawn. Even today Jagdish Titler is in charge, if I am not mistaken, of the important state of Orissa for the Congress Bihar, Party. Bihar. Quest Bihar. And Bihar. Sorry, Bihar. Bihar. The question is, Kumar Ketkar, how can the Congress Party have different standards of accountability for 2002 riots and 1984 riots? Obviously, Congress must not have two standards, one for 1984 and one for 2002. And I do not think it's a matter between Congress and BJP. It's a matter between humanity and inhumanity. And inhumanity by any group of people, any group of people supported by any party or supported by any leader should be condemned. And in civilized India, that happened in 1984 is a shame for India as much as 2002 is a shame. And therefore, I don't think one case can be justified by another case. One genocide can be justified by another genocide. One crime can be justi justified by another crime and the debate that I am seeing between the BJP spokesperson and the Congress spokesperson appears to be but taking the justified. issue between BJP and Congress. I think it's a shame for all of us that something happened in 1984 and all. again something happened in 2002. The communities were different. No, no, no. Communities were different, so we but the perpetrators belong to certain parties, and I don't, so I don't think the Supreme Court There's is wrong in giving. And Supreme Court is absolutely no, right in reopening no the case. There's no justification of a riot, Mr. Kumar Ketkar. The only limited question is this. No, no, there's no justification of a riot. The question is about double standards. I never said justification. Of course, go after people. But I never, never said justification. Don't spare them. But don't I never them. said justification. But I am saying that you. I have never said justification. That's the point. Nirmala Sitaraman. Mark Ketkar, I merely said I did not say justification. We are not interested in I having a two-two may make here. But if you are trying to tell me that the communities are different, which is the expression that you used, I am sorry. Justice cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are talking of two thousand two cannot be different for different communities. If you are let me just finish. I am neither able to hear you if you interrupt me, nor the audience will benefit from it. Let me just finish. 28 years have passed and with a very conscious media also pursuing it, you saw till the, two th till the year 2000, every commission report which went into this anti-Sikh riots came up with clean shit for perpetrators of the violence. And here it was clearly sponsored by the Congress party and you knew it. And if you're telling me just because it uh, pertains to a different community, I should not be naming a political party. It doesn't do justice. After all, it was they who were ruling Delhi at that time. No, so let us saying, be fair. What he's saying today. Let us be fair. No, what he's saying today 
is that don't try and neutralize your alleged role your party leaders alleged role in one riot with this in other words he is saying today that don't try and um, you know when people ask you why was uh, you know maya ben kodnani a minister why did the gujarat government give her a long rope what he is telling you is don't neutralize maya ben kodnani by talking about jagdish titler that's the point nirmala sitaram i, I don't think he's wrong on no, that no i i, I don't understand. think he's wrong on that you I know he's not wrong on that no i understand and i fully appreciate that point but the fact remains that between 2002 and 2010 except for the nine contentious cases Yeah. all others were going through the trial court and the high court and everywhere even after appeal it was proceeding even those cases Nirmala which were moved Gujarat, out Gujarat of uh, gujarat you saw that the jail which was happening you were not pursuing by the court nirmala ji only one but point so prosecutors did not pursue the cases right. all all of them Congress were getting acquitted only then supreme court interfered to cover up you uh, see nirmala ji only Please one point even by the cbi director who's got Mr. appointed as okay, a governor okay we got two hands going up areman sundaram i'm coming to you mr kartikeyan i'm coming Nir to you i have two hands nirmala ji first kumar ketkar's turn to respond nirmala ji only one point Kar. please Arna, understand nirmala ji i just want to justify nirmala ji only one point absolutely all That's condemn right. a riot but there has to be a certain amount of balance mr ketkar yes please nirmala ji simple point is 1984 happened 18 years before 2002 and i don't think one should be comparing 1984 with 2002 or 2002 can be justified by 1984 nirmala ji you and me both of us are we not ashamed that something like this happened in independent india after partition after so many years of partition that agony still is with us and that happened in 1984 and 2002 forget the communities forget the parties involved forget who was ruling at which our place i don't you think that for you as well as for me it is a very shameful episode in our life in our political life and social life and cultural life i am merely saying that i am not defending justifying no, anybody on. i am merely saying that 2002 cannot be explained no, by justifying 1984 no, 1984 cannot be justified by 2002 that's it Kumar, my merely small point was that are we not as indians ashamed Is why are you bringing in communities whether sikh or muslims or christians or anywhere because of hypocrisy rabid rasul khan don't mind my saying it Anna. sonia gandhi says sorry to the sikhs for blue star i think 1984 riots in january 1998 manmohan singh apologizes for the anti sikh riots in august 2005 in parliament April 12, 2005, he apologizes. But let me add and one thing here. And then in April here. 2009, the Congress Party gives tickets no, to two me. people whose only claim to fame or notoriety is the 1984 riots, Mr. Khan. Yeah. Isn't that Arnab, complete hypocrisy? Arnab, one thing is very clear. Arne, Arne, let me let me come in. Uh, it's very clear that we are not supporting any of the riots or the people involved in the riots. Definitely, if the riots have taken place, the law should take its own course, and definitely they should get punishment. There is no two ways about it. Nor are we trying to protect anybody. The fact here is, uh, Jagdish Titler, if he is found guilty, will be given punishment. There is no question of getting him and uh, supporting him. In the different aspect, what we are discussing here no, why is the no, not, what, 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 what are the conditions of the things happening? How how another party is trying to It protect uh, people time. who yes, are being sued by giving them important positions? No, no, there are two questions how coming to you. Yes, sir. No, no. Let me let me complete it. If you don't let me complete it, everywhere even I need to interject. By giving a clean chit to the Jagdish Titler. At that time also. the session court honorable judge said there's no this, you cannot give a clean chit to this accused you need to investigate this matter again again in 2009 just before the elections yeah. it was the talk of the town that clean chit is coming clean chit is coming clean chit is coming and a one fine day clean chit came out and said that yes jagdish titler has nothing to do with the 1984 sacroids now you say tickets was not given to them that's totally wrong if congress ever felt sensitive about the sick issues at the first hand they shouldn't have given a ticket to jagdish titler or sajan kumar in 2005 when nanamati commission clearly came out with the findings that yes jagdish titler was one of the co accused in 1986 for riots congress should have waited till the final judgment but on the contrary what they did was one of the co accused goes to the court asking for you know quashing of the case yes. the government did not even object to it they allowed the case to be quashed my point is even now my worry is 
that the Congress repeatedly tried covering up and knowing very well that further and further delay, like four years or five yeah. years, Nirmalaji, those indicted Nirmalaji, cannot even be given Nirmalaji, permission for, like officials. Yeah. This, 32 this, of the 70 what? policemen were to be thrown out of the jobs and the Congress managed to delay it that I, none of them could be acted on. You, you see, I think the, I think the CBI has, deliberately. To, the CBI has a lot to answer Nirmala for. Nirmala but my question is to Aryaman Sundaram, Mr. Mr. Kartikeyan, I'm coming to all of that. Talking no, no, watch, 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 watch. My question to Aryaman Sundaram is this. Sorry. The court has refused to accept the closure report it had in December 2007. It has conducted inquiries again only to turn up with the same findings. CBI. What is the hope that the CBI now will uncover something that it did not earlier. Is there any hope for the 1984 Sikh riot, anti Sikh riot victims? Arnab, there are two sides, two aspects to this entire matter. One is a political aspect, the other is a legal aspect. So far as the political aspect is, it's enough grist for the political mill. We've heard the Congress and the BJP throwing stones on each other as to how their own acts of uh, supporting or being involved with or being associated with communalism in some way or the other is justified by the other side also doing it. I find it preposterous. As far as I'm concerned, any form of such riots is, is totally inexcusable. And so let's leave it there. The poor politicians will continue shouting at each other saying, you killed more people than I killed. That's not the answer. But I'm more concerned with the legal aspect of it. The legal aspect of it is this. Either the court's verdict has shown one of two things. One, either the CBI is a completely inept body, a completely untrustworthy body, which has very large, long-scale ramifications on our entire structure and how even when there's any doubt of anyone, it's all referred to the CBI, as though CBI is the absolute trustworthy body which can deal with something. So in this case, either the CBI has been inept, or is untrustworthy, or I think there is something which is very dangerous in the entire legal system. If the CBI has been a properly investigating body, then I fail to understand how, for something which happened in 1984, when there has been a closure report given, and thereafter, in 2006, thereafter reinvestigation has been ordered, and after reinvestigation has been ordered, once again a closure report has been given saying the person concerned was not even there, he was at the funeral. Right or wrong, I'm not going into, I'm just talking facts. And thereafter, yeah. three witnesses are said to be necessary for examination. And the first time these witnesses' names ever came out was in 2008, which is 24 years after the incidents. Now what really concerns me and really concerns me is this. Either the CBI can be absolutely blamed for being inept, not conduct conducting an investigation, yes. knowingly or otherwise, and I say, and I say culpably been inept, but if you're not willing to go that far, I believe this is a case of double jeopardy where a person cannot keep going on and on and on being investigated. 29 years after fact, when he's been given a clean chip twice, I heard one of the earlier panelists saying that the commissions also had cleared him. The point of the matter is, are we willing to stand and say that CBI yeah, yeah. has been morally or legally or has been completely inept and untrustworthy? That is the only justification for what has happened. And I want everybody here who justifies what's happened to say the but, but, CBI but, has been totally untrustworthy in this matter. In which case, why should we ever trust them ever again? You know, you know Mr. Aryaman Sundaram, I cannot agree more with you. Because you mentioned very rightly, Mr. Aryaman Sundaram, in your observations that 24 years after 1984, the CBI wakes up and it decides to go to the United States to record a statement of one particular witness. Two of them. Just two, two, two witnesses. Sing. Just the other part which you did not add, Mr. Ariman Sundaram, which then is even more shocking culpable. is, <laughs> the CBI wakes up when? Three, no, no, three months before a general, general election. Elections. Three months before a general election, the CBI changes its position on Mulayam Singh Yadav one day. It goes to the court and says there is no case against Mulayam Singh Yadav when there are conversations going on with the Congress party for seat sharing. When the, con when the conversation with the Congress party fails, then it goes to the court and says reopen the case. 
Similarly, Mr. Mr. Karthike and today people are asking that how is it that the CBI, which was told to reopen the case twice in 2007, suddenly goes to the US, says a witness is not fit to, not traceable, we can't find a witness, and in April 2nd, 2009, which is exactly, if I am not mistaken, one month before the general election, elections, right? It says, one month. It says close days. the case, close the case against Titler. And then just Beer Singh came, huh? that CBI never found me, I was the one who was hunting CBI, and CBI never came to have my statement. That was what just Beer Singh said in his statement, that I am ready to dispose before the CBI, had CBI called me up. And, and that question sincerely goes to you, Mr. Karthike, and as one of the India's premier no. investigators, isn't this really, really now suspicious? And very interesting part of this uh, investigation Let him is... Answer. Let him answer. I want, I want Mr. Karthike an answer. I have always been telling there is an increasingly widespread perception that in politically sensitive cases, the timing at least of the action taken by the CBI is suspect. That is why say there is a need for absolute autonomy to be given to the CBI and also hold the director of CBI accountable in such a case. Today it's just a department of the government, whatever they may say. In the many cases like this, the timing is very difficult to justify. You have explained it correctly. And you, if public feel that it is being uh, manipulated for political reasons, it's very difficult to deny that. Number two, twice it was ultimately the director of CBI is responsible for the decision taken either to charge it or not to charge it, whatever is the decision. He has got the right to differ from his uh, junior officers, all right. But he has to record in writing why he is differing from them. It must be on record. But also, Mr. Arnab, the point is, how did the courts accept twice? After all, the courts are not supposed to blindly accept absolutely the CBI right. report. The courts I also have Mr. a duty is to ensure. Correct. The courts also have a duty absolutely right. to, to look into the matter whether it's correct or not. They could have gone deep into the matter. Otherwise, they can't just blindly accept what is given by the investigating officer. So you can see that not only the CBI's action suspect, I agree with you in this matter. Now, what, so what about the courts? How did the courts blindly accept those verdicts? Now, today, another court says there is a need for further investigation. But what is the damage is that in the public perception, they don't know what is right, what is wrong. If after, how long can you go on like this? 28 years after that, investigation delayed, trial is delayed. That's why people are losing faith slowly in the entire administration of the criminal justice system, which May is I very dangerous to the society. Very dangerous to the society. So that is why the increasing lawlessness, people taking the law into their own hands. It's high time. This is, there is an end, after all, May at I least add this one, one thing here. I am not going to sit in judgment whether Mr. Titler is guilty or not. But how can you go on like this 28 years? What about the CBA decision is right? Correct. What about the courts? What about the previous two courts? What did they do about it? That means sir, the two courts sir, were wrong sir, also. Now the new, uh, uh, the latest this is decision. A complete subversion, subversion and mockery of the system. Witnesses have died. The case has been delayed. And Ariman Sundaram at the end of the day, I can only, you know, wonder why, you know, while everybody is willing to politicize certain issues, why this is, why nobody cares for the Sikh community and the sensitivities and the feelings of the Sikh community? Arnab, it is almost unfortunately, Arnab, it seems that the sensitivity Arnab, of the only Sikh one community, point. you know, does not matter. I mean, I'm sure you don't look upon a community and decide on whether they are politically influential or not and to what extent and therefore, accordingly, we will respond on their sensitivities. Today, every Sikh person I've spoken to across parties has responded with a sense of deep hurt. They feel justice will happen, but so many generations Arnab, have gone away without justice happening. Ariman Sundaram wanted to comment and become Arnab before only, I come back to you, Kumar Ketkar. Ariman Arnab, Sundaram wanted Arnab to add something to what, uh, Arnab, what I, former CBI what director I wanted said. to comment on, Arnab, was this. May I just comment on this? I agree completely with, with, with what Mr. Karthikeyan said, that the CBI is this premier organization which unfortunately today in public perception has become very faulty in many of the decisions it takes. My concern goes a bit further. We continue trusting in the CBI. Even today, courts are approached and courts pass orders saying, we are not happy with the yeah. investigation, let CBI investigate. I want to know what confidence a citizen of India, what confidence I, after what has happened today, 
if you say that the court was correct in reopening a case and let's not forget that you're reopening a case which has uh, literally been closed twice against an individual after 28 years there's one way of saying that what happens to that individual's own fundamental rights that is also an argument which is going to come up he can say look 29 years i've gone through all this and once again you open how can i have any faith you have to quash this now he can also say it i'm not saying who's right who's wrong but what i am saying is if the reopening is correct that means the cbi was so faulty that what happens today, when even today the courts, the Supreme Court, the High Court pass orders saying, we are not happy with investigation, let CBI investigate. Now we are all saying, we are all saying, if, if, if this reopening of the case is correct, that the CBI is the most faulty body, then why should we have a CBI? And why should we give CBI the powers it has? I'm sorry, it makes every citizen lack confidence in the CBI. I'm Tomorrow, if there's a matter in which the CBI is investigating, I am going to say, no, I'm sorry, I don't want this body to investigate. Because everybody today, so many people, all the panelists, everybody well said, say, well said. oh my God, well said. don't trust the CBI. Well said. Well said. That's the reality of the CBI. Well said, that's the fact that's about the, the, CBI. Of the CBI. And hear it from Aryaman Sundaram today, because enough Are... is enough and the time has come to, to, to open up. You know what the CBI, the court, the court says today, the court says, as many as four witnesses claim, shown and named to be eyewitnesses of the incident, CBI chose not, not to record, record their, their statements. statements. The conclusion, if a witness is reliable or not, and consideration of his giving different version rests with the court. court. Irrespective of whether he was telling a truth or the lie, the CBI was obligated to record their statements. I don't know what is this investigating very, very interesting part a of joke this. of an investigating very agency interesting part that of does not record witnesses statements. The Mr. very Sitsa. interesting part of this investigation is CBI has been recording the statement of the driver of Jagdish Titler who claims to say that Jagdish Shame. Titler was Shame. there. Shameful. Secondly, CBI in its report said that we got a CD of the Jagdish Titler being a present at the Mrs. Gandhi's residence. At the same point, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan was there. At the same time, Mr. Fulka said, they should have recorded the statement of Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. They should have recorded the statement of Mr. Call, who was the Special Commissioner of Police at that time. They should have recorded the statement of Mr. R.K. Dhawan. Had CBI in his mind well want said, to prosecute well Jagdish Titler, want to charge it on the face. But CBI was in a mind, was in a pressure, being used as a tool from a Congress because CBI is a Congress Bureau of Investigation. It has nothing to do with the general public. I'm they have no concern about the six. They have no concern about the no, rights. I don't the agree. only concern I'm is Congress. Sorry. Congress it is and not Congress a Congress Bureau of Investigation. They always want it. It is the Bureau of Investigation. Never get a justice. And Congress is bent upon not to give us a justice. It is I not the Congress. I mean, it's been the... used by the others. So let's not make one party responsible. Are they are the Bureau of Investigation are they, are they, of whatever is politically convenient, A, whatever. And what really gets me in this is, at the end of all this, either the court is wrong or the CBI is wrong. Both can't be right. Now, whichever way it is, it worries me. Or both are wrong. Arna, we have nothing to no. do with the politics. The only thing, as being a Sikh, Arna, we, we have lost 6,000 people. We have got a 6,000 precious lives. I completely we have nothing to do with the politics. We have nothing to do with, with any party. But one thing I must say. Had Congress been fair with the Sikhs, we should have got justice in the regime of Congress itself. Has yes. Congress been fair with us? Oh, how can you not and, record and statements? I want to... I just can't... And a very interesting fact is there. Another charge, what is, is, another charge is, is there with the Delhi police, no, what, what, which is lying from last 16 years. My, my point, I was my, just going to say this. CBI did file a charge sheet in 94 yeah. after the Narula committee. My, I, I'm, I fully agree with Aryaman Sundaram. But the point here is, if the uh, trust in CBI is lost, but as a political party, if I have so many different names which are being even given by eyewitness belonging to a particular party, am I wrong in public interest to raise it? And am I being told, oh, you belong to a political party, so you can't name anybody from the Congress? I'm sorry. We I will. I will name the quest, name the parties because for a long duration the Congress was in ruling. Yeah. And if it was genuinely interesting, interested in getting justice, and if it was not misusing CBI, why were three different instances where those earlier commissions also said charge sheet has to be filed? 1987 once. Again in 1993, again in 1994, let's not then fool ourselves by saying probably they did not do their job. They probably did their job, but the Congress was no, interested. I... The Congress was interested in covering up. And even when it shifted the papers from Marwa Committee to Rangnathan Mishra Committee, the entire papers were not 
passed no, on. No, I am asking the a simple details simple were all question. Lost. Simple question. So why the do the why do, why, why why do uh, the one uh, minute, uh, uh, Mr. Khan? Uh, uh, take my question today. People are very upset. Why do the sensitivities and feelings of the Sikh community in this country not matter to you? Why is the political careers of some Congress leaders more important than truth and justice? For the victims, thousands of victims of 1984. Let there be complete justice for 2002. But what about justice for 1984? What about justice for 1984? Arnab, 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 only one Mr. point. I would like to say we hold, we 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 have the highest regard for the Sikh community and likewise for all the minorities communities in this country. There is absolutely no doubt on that, and we have been proving ourselves that we hold them in the highest okay. esteem and their security and well-being is the priority of Congress party. The fact in this so particular case, not what words. we are talking about, yes, no, actions have been heard. It, actions have been heard and it has been proved. In this particular case of Jagdish Titler, okay, so the charge have, sheet was uh, filed where he was, there was no evidence for him and the court has accepted. After that, the court has asked for a reinvestigation. We are ready for it. We are not trying to stop it. We are not trying to subvert it. We are not trying to put it under the cover. Now the fact is, as soon as the court has ordered, we immediately an investigation will be done. And if we so saw will you say today? Will you? Will you? We will are you not say trying to protect him. No, no, no. Let me complete it. Arna, CBI, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Now, as, as, as the Congress is being made out by the BJP that it is not sensitive to the here, issues no? of the those Sikh, two I am telling you very you clearly, we didn't we are very sensitive to the issues of Sikh. They are part of the country, and even today the threat continues for their lives. Nirmala ji, either you let me speak or even I will interfere in yourself and then you will talk, say that you are not allowing me to. Now you cannot do this. Let me speak. Let me talk and let me give me a, my version of the thing when I ask for it. I have waited for my turn. The, we are holding the Sikh community, Muslim community and all the other communities who are the minorities in the highest esteem. Our party is committed to that. We, our party is committed to secularism. We have proved it time and again and we will prove it time and again. The point here is, in this particular case, as Mr. Karthikan has said, that the courts have accepted the uh, statement of the CBI and the uh, charge sheet and then they have held him not guilty. If uh, the investigation is being opened, we welcome it. There is no, you see, we are not covering it up like the way BJP covers up their investigations. It, we are not no, doing anything like that. Welcoming it, welcoming it is BJP an BJP has thought, been sir. proved to have uh, cover up the investigation where, and the cases where, have been where, shifted out where, of Gujarat. Where, Mr. Rasul Khan, is the political activism that is required? Why is the Congress party quiet on 1984? Now, now Arna, Arna, Arna political activism also, also needs, needs... How many times have you hit the streets on it? How many times have you made it a political now, issue? Now, How now, many times have you raised it in a public debate. forum? This is a Come on, debate. sir, accept this it. Is a 1984 is a shadow that you want to the brush aside, but the will not go. The also needs to be talked about. It is not that the political activism. We cannot put anybody in the jail just for it. We need to follow the rules of the country. Kumar Ketkar. Arnab, can I say? Kumar Ketkar. Abhidra Sulkhan only simple says, follow point. the rules of the yeah, country. Only... Sorry to come to you. But they don't do that in Gujarat. Kumar Ketkar. Kumar Ketkar's turn. Kumar Ketkar's turn, please. Arnab, yes. Arnab, the only simple point is, between 1996 and 2004, there were four governments which belonged to non-Congress parties, different coalitions, different governments, and nobody can say that CBI was at that time controlled by the Congress. CBI at that point of time was controlled either, if at all it was controlled, by the BJP, Third Front and so on and so forth. And therefore it is necessary to understand why between 1996 and 2004 these cases were not pursued. Between 1984 riots and 1996 there were 12 years and between 96 and 2004 there were 20 years by the time 2004 came and nothing happened. In between the second riot took place in 2002. So 16 years after the Rajiv Gandhi's uh, Prime Ministership. So I think it is necessary to understand that CBI was not part of the Congress, so-called Congress hegemony at that time. Why CBI, when not autonomous under their government, did not pursue these cases on fast track and did not punish this. the guilty. I am concerned more as an Indian. I am not concerned myself as a congressman, the BJP, BJP wants to answer you, or Mr. Uh, which party. Which. BJP I am wants not to concerned. You. My All concern is as an Indian. I am an Indian and I hate I, speak, my Mr. concern Kekar, is an Indian and I hate any Indian. riot, Let any communalism. That. So I don't think it's this kind of acrimonious debate is going to solve. between. B it is not a Allow question of BJP speak. and Congress, it's a question of humanity.
The simple point is that between 1996 and 2004, till before 2000, was not controlled. Or let me say, till before uh, uh, NDA came. Hi, he's again speaking. Let him, let him, let her respond to you, sir. When the NDA came to power, it was very clear all the commissions till then were only attempting to whitewash the whole case, undermine the importance of the witnesses, threaten the witnesses, and it was going on like that. It was only after NDA came, much why, to the satisfaction the of many of the Sikh community, why did the government between we formed the Nanavati and Commission and uh, did let not me pursue finish, Mr. Ketkar. You seem to be over-enthusiastic in protecting the Why nobody CBI. pursued? Twist the whole matter. Why nobody You're pursued? the whole matter. It's not like that. It is not like that. I, your, your record. No, why don't you uh, just allow me to finish, Mr. Talking. Ketkar? You are allow, allow, allow the BJP. Allow, allow, allow the allow the lady spokesperson of the BJP here to respond to you, please. Mr. Ketkar, sincere request to you. Yes, Mr. Ketkar. The Nanavati Commission was appointed by the BJP and the report was submitted in 2005. Would you wait for the report or would you just jump the gun and uh, go ahead doing your work? We appointed the committee which went through it in exhaustion and then got a comprehensive report. Which, till before then, the number of committees appointed, number of commissions appointed by the Congress rule, were all attempting to only whitewash. I'm repeating that. And when this report, Nanavati Commission report was submitted in 2005, Congress government sat over it and subsequently made the CBI give a clean chit. The only and those witnesses who were staying in USA, in New York, when the, don't the, saying the, please, the only, I can't the, 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 only, the only point Ask on them. which the only just point on which your position is that it can be said BJP to you also sat or that Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi apologized and said sorry multiple times. Your party leaders have not apologized. Sonia Gandhi never said sorry for this. I am sorry to add your on party, to that. Your party leaders, no one yes, second, yes. Narendra Modi says one only has to ask for yes, forgiveness and one is guilty of a crime. Hang, hang me if I am guilty, guilty, hang me if I am guilty, we but there is no that. apology. On that point, it's slightly the point of weakness that there hasn't been a heartfelt apology no. for 2002. Now that you've raised that... Uh, uh, 2002 from BJP. Now that you've raised I've that... I've made a point, yes. I'll just give you one line which may not be the line I would ever want to say, but now that it is so heated a debate, I will certainly Say, don't politicize her. No, no, no. You can't tell me don't do this, don't do that, but give me an answer. I will give an answer. You may uh, uh, conclude whatever it is. I normally do not come on to this level of debate, but since it's becoming so heated, I'll tell you. I'm sorry the Congress party made a sick prime minister to apologize. He called it a tragedy. I welcome that because he's an honorable gentleman. He did it. But is that his responsibility or is it the responsibility of the first family well, the which former Prime Minister even so went to the extent of justifying no, that no, no, no. falls and uh, obviously the earth you will shake. I'm sorry, the, 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 the family has the not apologized. It is, well, I, I, it remember, is the I remember, who, I remember, uh, belongs to the community I, of the, the victims. This, what, 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 what Sonia Gandhi uh, says, belongs to the community uh, Sonia, of the victims Sonia, who Sonia, had to apologize. Absolutely, if that apology is called apology, no. I'll take it. Well, but I, I'm sorry to say that is no apology. Because so, the people who perpetrated so, perpetrated the violence on the inspiration of the words uttered by the former well, Prime Minister. Well, I don't believe in I believe I actually don't believe in sorries and apologies. I believe in justice. And, and, and I must say this before I go back to the CBI uh, former director. I want to appreciate the candor and honesty with which Mr. Dayar Karthikeyan has spoken today. Because it's an agency that he has served. And Mr. Karthikeyan, if someone like you is saying today to the CBI must look within, I think you know you should be applauded for being so frank and direct, because it's a real point of concern, isn't it? Yeah, in the when you watch, the you, as, 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 as an investigative... Uh, premier investigative pre body. Prem, you know, premier investigative body, this is a point of crisis for the CBI, isn't it, Mr. Karthikeyan? The it, 1984 case. It Absolutely. is. It is. You know, that is the best available investigating agency available in the country today. Only problem is, how do you insulate it from undue external influences? They are competent. They know what is the right thing. They know how to find out. They can collect evidence. They can certainly prove it in the court of law. But unless you insulate it from these external influences, I tell you, this, many of these decisions of the CBA will continue to be questioned. There is no doubt about it. And we have no option. You can't keep on you know, condemning it because 99% of the cases, I can tell you, they are all very ably investigated, prosecuted successfully also. In these, uh, you know, very, very politically sensitive cases, yeah. the public perception is 
that it can be influenced and it is being influenced that is a widespread perception it is very difficult to deny that perception and very unfortunate and yeah. uh, even the courts uh -huh. i find there is a limited yeah. uh, you know area in which they are able to um, ensure that the cbi is insulated from yeah. political influence because ultimately the courts can decide on the facts presented before uh, the court collected with evidence and of course in every case they cannot you, go you on questioning this, whether this is rightly done I, or I'm not because you. as it I'm is you know i'm with you on it ariman sundaram you want to add something very briefly please before i close this debate on a very yes. important subject tonight i i just want yes, to Mr. add sundaram i i think mr kartikeyan has been extremely candid about it but what i do want to point out is while he restricts the untrustworthiness of the cbi to politically sensitive matters my point is if an investigative body which is meant to be absolutely impartial and search for the truth absolutely is capable of deviating from that owing to what we may call political influence that means they're capable for deviating in which case i can't trust them if they can be deviated by political influence why not be deviated by from it by something else that in other words the moment the you it's it only black and white here. there is no gray oh, the moment they deviate then i'm sorry they aren't trustworthy they could deviate for any reason at all not just political no, and that, this is not the body that is because of the, inherent the future of political inherent defects in, in the way it is constituted and administered and controlled it is in the way the director cbi and others are appointed exactly. and how they are called uh, accountable they should be made accountable only to the law and to the courts and for everything they depend give upon the executive government right induction of the people promotion give of the people and how they are appointed it, give it independence don't don't make the cbi don't don't make the cbi hand maiden in the hands of political parties that's a limited point mr kartikeyan is also saying today yeah. don't use the cbi mr kartikeyan that's your point i agree that's what i told even the parliamentary committee on home affairs 30 members of parliament were there i said in the interest of the nation please ensure that the cbi autonomy is maintained because if people lose faith in the cbi where do you go every time the supreme yeah. court cannot appoint an sit it is not going to happen where do you go and if people lose faith in the out when the cbi like the fbi it should be like the fbi who questions the decision of the fbi so every yeah, political I'm, party I'm i can tell you all the political you, parties the have end, to I'd take like the blame to so some extent like to or the other i'd like to say that uh, for bringing the cbi I, to this uh, condition as far as the sikh community which has suffered in silence is concerned uh, you know i think we applaud the patience the fortitude the maturity and the greatness of the sikh community and the perseverance that, and the perseverance and the you know the the quiet maturity and greatness of the sikh community which has suffered in silence we can only empathize with them and those responsible for this must look within now thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for joining me on my first debate on the news at night